My name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. I, uh, wow, I just ran into somebody that I know, uh, nice man, a white guy, bald head, clean shaven, just, he, uh, he's a nice man, very kind, quiet, uh, he broke his back. Well, he was working. He was working construction or some shit. And, uh... He got disability. You know, he's been living on disability for 15 years or whatever. He gets around with, a, with one of these wheeled walker chair things. He can sit and push and... Uh, and he was living in this apartment for 15 years, he said. For 17 years or something and his rent was went up to I don't know over the course of the years it went up to about 15 1400 1500 and he always had a roommate he slept in the living room and he had somebody in the room and they would pay but unfortunately he kept getting these people that were irresponsible that were you know I guess, you know, whatever, people who were drug addicts or, or didn't, you know, alcoholics or something. I don't know where he got these people from, but he said every roommate he had basically recently turned out to be, you know, would screw him on the rent somehow. And then it would to find another person, would take a couple months, and then he ended up owing this guy like 5000 or $7,000 in back rent uh, over the course of this many years. And he went to housing court, and just like us, sorry, the first judge was very nice. Yeah, sure, you can get an adjournment, 30 days, uh, 60 days, whatever. He paid $1,800, his whole savings he gave, to try to buy some time to come up with the money to, to get a roommate and, or, or get you know, Catholic charities or welfare or, or something to help with his back rent because they do have a homelessness prevention unit that is charged with such things but it seems like uh, getting their help is almost impossible because I tried once and couldn't get anything from them I called every single place on these lists that they told me had a possibility of, of money that they would give for back rent and Anyway, he goes into court the second time, 60 days later, it's a different judge now, trial, and boom, judge says, so what's the deal with you? Oh, I'm trying to get the money, uh, okay, well, judgment to the, to the landlord, boom, got to get out, three days. Now, he's living in a shelter, an armory shelter with like 200 people in it, you know, a bed, your bed is, is two feet or a foot and a half excuse me, a foot and a half or so from the other person, people, you know, you gotta sleep with your shoes on, and, and you, you, people steal everything, uh, violence is rampant, um, drugs are, you know, <laughs> food is horrible, the, the services are, I don't know, but, you know, he's got his cat now in, in a fucking shelter, and I just saw him, you know, he's waiting for the ambulette, the little van that has to come and pick him up and take him to and from his doctor every day so he can get his freaking medication because he's in pain. And, uh, you know, he's sitting there, he looks so sad, and I'm saying, oh, God. I, you know, and, and I keep trying to tell that this kind of thing happens all the time, you know? And he told me, oh yeah, there was all these people in there. One guy had a $147 rent and he couldn't pay. And for years he couldn't pay. He said, I would die if I would beg, borrow and steal for that kind of rent to have a place to, you know? I said, yeah, 
Obviously, me too. You know, we're living in a world now, in this place where <laughs> nobody wants us. Even though we pay and we're quiet, we mind our business, we come and go, we do our, you know, don't bother anybody. But I guess uh, we're just standing in the way of progress. That's the problem now. But then, you know, listen, I hate to admit it, but I have zero experience getting a place to live. Once I managed to get an SRO uh, room for myself uh, as a you know a homeless person and, and get uh, welfare to pay for it, but that was you know 10, 15 years ago or something when they actually would help people and you could actually get a room for 235 a month or whatever they paid 215. I had to pay the, the rest myself. And, and they would actually give you money for welfare. Uh, a couple hundred bucks a month, but you know, it kept you alive. There, there's very little social network available for anything these days. And uh, you know, I've tried and tried and tried and tried. Oh, wait, here, look across the street, right? Let me see if we can see them here. Where is the coffee shop and all the... I don't know, can you see them from here? All these people? Yeah, they're all in a big line hanging out. Um, people I've never seen before. This whole neighborhood is changing into these... artsy fartsy, whatever. I don't know. I don't know how they live. I don't know how they make their money. I don't know what they do. But uh, here they are and they're taking over. So. If they're dumb enough to pay four times the rent, God bless them, but uh, there's such evil here, such, you know, and I can't figure out if it's all oh, just because I'm targeted and, you know, they don't want us to have a place to live or whatever, but that shelter shit scares me, man. I've been through that shit, and it fucking sucks. It is no no way for a human being to exist. But it's the best that you get, you know, in New York. Uh, you try to, to fucking homestead here, and uh, you got a problem because... Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know where the homeless people are going. But I don't see them around here. I don't see them in New York. You know, very few. I don't see them. I don't know. And I can't do that, man. I'm too sick for this shit. Oh, God. Thanks for watching.